We love the Port Phillip Bay and the animals we can see as we swim, snorkel, or relax on beautiful beaches. But what about the world we cannot see? Let's take a trip to the bottom of the bay. At first glance, 30 meters below the surface, the bay floor looks like sand and mud, but it's really a complex and diverse system that supports life. This is called a soft sediment system. In fact, thousands of living creatures can be found in just a square meter of sand. This system is also critical to the overall health of the bay. So how does the soft sediment system work? Well, there are three important layers to understand. In the topmost layer, there are clouds of soft mud pieces, or silt. Much of this silt comes from the Yara River as it pushes water into the bay. In the middle layer, there is sand and mud. Plants and animals can live in this layer because water and living things can move in and out of the loose material easily. Water carries the oxygen that living things need to survive. In the bottom layer, there is hard, black sand. Bacteria have used up all the oxygen, so it is much harder to live here. Plants and animals that live in this system build networks for food, oxygen, and shelter. Just as we humans build farms, houses, and roads. And just like the engineers who built our houses and roads, some plants and animals are called ecosystem engineers. Let's meet some of these clever engineers. Our first ecosystem engineer is the heart urchin. Like ants, the heart urchin has their skeleton on the outside. This is called an exoskeleton. This exoskeleton is heart-shaped and no longer than six centimeters. You may recognize their old shells on the beach. Heart urchins also have spines on their shells so they can dig better. Heart urchins live in burrows in the bay floor. They like to crawl between the second and first layers of the floor. They eat and move so much sand that oxygen-rich water is drawn into the lower levels. This makes it easier for other organisms to live at the bottom of the bay. Now let's meet our next ecosystem engineer, the ghost shrimp. These shrimp, also called mud shrimp, have exoskeletons too. They are usually pale and about 3 centimeters across or smaller. These small shrimp have a huge effect on the bottom of the bay. They live in deep, complicated, and beautiful burrows that provide a pathway for oxygen-rich water to reach areas of the black sand layer. This creates more living space for other organisms. Plants can be ecosystem engineers too. Mangroves call the shallower parts of the bay home, but they help create more habitat for organisms at the bottom. Mangrove roots spread far out and are shaped like tubes, bringing oxygen below the surface. Mangroves and other plants, like seagrasses, use their roots to make the bay floor more solid. Seagrasses also provide hiding places for smaller animals, like the weedy sea dragon. Sponges provide rainbow worlds under human-built piers as well as nature's rocky reefs. The last of our major ecosystem engineers is unfortunately much rarer these days. Oyster beds once covered enough of the bay floor to act as a filter for the cloudy silt at the bottom. But European settlers harvested all of the oysters and sold them for food. Settlers also destroyed oyster habitats when they harvested scallops. Some Australians are trying to bring back the oysters, but it will take time. This means that the bottom of the bay is much darker and cloudier and creates more work for the other ecosystem engineers. These humble engineers sometimes go unseen they make much of the bay's beauty possible. There are also more easily seen citizens living at the bottom of the bay. Spider crabs migrate in huge crowds to shed their shells in the shallower bay waters. Thousands of spider crabs gather together to protect against predators while they shed their hard shells. Their bodies can be 16 centimeters across, and including their legs, can make them 70 centimeters across. Together, they like to eat plants and small fish. Stingrays like to camouflage themselves with the sandy surface. They like to eat the worms, clams, and shrimp that live on the bay floor. Some can grow up to be 2.1 meters long. Many animals are active at night, with the darkness offering some protection from predators. For example, the dumpling squid is a master of camouflage. 
They like to burrow into the sand, leaving just their eyes to look for food like shrimp. Some dumpling squid can even stick sand to their skin, covering their four centimeter bodies to hide from predators. As we get further above the bay floor, we find animals you may have seen before. Burn and dolphins call Port Phillip Bay home, and these dolphins are about 2.2 to 2.7 meters long. They like to eat fish, crabs, squid, and shrimp. There are fewer than 200 burn and dolphins living in the bay, and they are endangered. If you're lucky enough to see one from a boat, be sure not to get too close. Weedy sea dragons really appreciate the ecosystem engineers. Weedy sea dragons live all around the coastal waters of southern Australia and call Port Phillip Bay home. They are slender and about 45 centimeters long or less. They use the long fin on their back and the small fins on their sides for balance. They like to eat small shrimp, fish, and plankton. They are not strong swimmers, so they like to hide from the bay's currents among the seagrasses we talked about earlier. Other animals that like to hide in the seagrasses are pot-bellied seahorses and pipefish. While the weedy sea dragons call the seagrass beds home, swans call seagrasses food. The swans are usually less than 1.3 meters long and live in and alongside the water. Another famous bird in Port Phillip Bay is the little penguin. They are about 30 centimeters tall and are the world's smallest penguin. They mostly eat smaller fish, like mackerel, anchovy, and arrow squid. They raise their families on the shore, but spend most of their lives in the water. Another animal that spends time both in the water and on land is the Australian fur seal. They are usually between 1 and 2 meters long, and can weigh as much as 360 kilograms. They are smart hunters who like to eat fish and squid. No matter how far from the bay floor these organisms live, they are all supported by the sediment system at the bottom of the bay. So every time you see a cute animal, or enjoy seafood, remember there are millions of ecosystem engineers who made it all possible, who we protect when we take care of our bay.